Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to create a game to match pairs in Excel using VBA macros. So if we start the game, we have to choose the cells to see the teams there and try to match uh, the teams. Here there's a match for example, and there's a timer tracking the time you spent to do that and the number of moves it takes. And the goal is to match 12 pairs. It's a great exercise for your brain. It can be quite challenging if you have never seen these symbols before or if you are not a follower of a Spanish football, but you can right click here and, and hide the team logos and you can replace these pictures so you can actually customize the game to make it your own. You can add any pictures, you can also add, for example, shapes of different colors and create a match purse game with shapes. So now I'm going to show you how to create a simplified version because otherwise this would probably take a very long time to cover. So let's move to a new workbook and we are going to create the game from scratch. So we will use the range from B4 to E7 so it's only going to be 4 times 4 and you can make it as big as you want and here you can have the match pairs. Now let's go to the Visual Basic Editor, insert a module and the first macro will be to add the cover for each cell. So with sheet 1 and that's the module name so if a user changes the sheet name the macro will still run on this sheet and range B4 to E7 we're gonna clear the contents then we're gonna add some interior color let's make it green and we're gonna add thick borders let's say blue we can end with here now you can make this more professional or more elegant putting that into uh, an object variable and that could be game board as a range and then setting game board as all of that so now here we can just use with game board and even sheet 1 could be set to, for example, game as a worksheet. And we would say set game as sheet 1 or, or referring to the name of the sheet here with sheets game. And then taking this object variable here. So either way, any of those would work. Now if we run the macro, we get the covers in green. You can change the color for the bore. Now we're going to add the numbers, but the numbers are going to be hidden. So they could actually be hidden in the same sheet, but I'm going to put them in a different sheet. So let's add another sheet. And we'll create another macro to arrange the, I'm going to call cards, in this case the cards are numbers and we're going to add those numbers randomly to each cell in the board so for each cell in, and in this case it's going to be sheet 2 dot range and is exactly the same range we're going to get a random number so the number is going to be an integer random between 1 and 8 and if the number has not yet been added twice so if the worksheet function count if in that range in that range so I'm gonna copy exactly that range for that number 
is below 2, so there are not yet, then we can add to that cell the number. And here in the end we are going to go to the next cell, but what happens if the number has already been placed? We need to put this in a loop until the number is found, and when the number is found and can be placed, we will exit the do loop. So let me indent that, that's here, and that's inside the for. And you can, of course, declare the different variables. That's a range, num is an... And we want to clear the contents in the range before running the macro. So clear contents. If we run the macro now, we get random pairs of numbers in the range B4 to E7. If we run the macro again, we get a different set of pairs of numbers in that range, which corresponds, of course, to the range here. Now, when the player clicks on a cell, it's going to show the number. So it's going to just get the number from that sheet and put it here. And it's going to be big. Let's make this bigger and center. And to do that, we need to add a new macro. So I'm going to put it in another module. And we're going to have here another macro to show card. And the card in this case is the number. Or it could be a picture or whatever. And here we're going to say if the active cell, so the cell that has been selected interior color, is green, because here we've chosen to cover the cells with a green background, then it can happen two things. It is the first time we show a cell or it's the second. And in order to track that, I'm going to use a variable that I will declare outside the module to keep its value after macro execution. And that's card one, the first card selected, and I'm going to declare it as a range. So it's actually an object variable holding the cell that has been selected first. So now here, if card one is nothing so if this is the first time we select a cell then we are going to show the number but first of all we're going to set card one now is the active cell then we say card one interior color we're going to make it white now and finally card one dot value now it's going to be equal to sheet two dot range card one address dot value and this is going to get the value in the other sheet for that particular cell so if it was b4 it's going to get that value and it's going to put it here now else if the first card or the first number has been shown already we are going to work now with active cell interior color and make it white then again the active cell value is gonna be the number in that cell so that's exactly the same that we've used up here but now for active cell and now here if the active cell value equals the card one value so the so the value of the cell that was selected first then we can write the message box saying match but else if if it's not the same we're gonna wait for a second so application wait now plus time value of zero 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 one second so for the player to have the time to memorize those numbers and those positions, so it's just one second. And then we're going to remove the number in active cell and in card one. 
and we are also going to again make the interior color green to cover somehow to cover the cell for both the active cell which is the second cell and I'm gonna copy paste that for card one here we end this if statement and this is for this block and then we still need to end the other if statement that one here and the first if statement and here after this regardless of whether it is a match or not we're gonna set card one to nothing okay now this macro is gonna run whenever we select a cell and to do that we need to add an event procedure to the sheet game and it's gonna be a selection change event procedure but only if the target cell intersects so application intersect of range B4 to E7 and that's in sheet 1 of course because we are in sheet 1 with the target cell is not nothing and and we need to write it this way in VBA so if not application intersect is nothing then we can call show card and if so if the selection is within this game board we are gonna call show car which is this macro we just did so let's see how it works now I'm gonna select any cell and as you see it has shown the number it's number four which is the number four here of course and then if I select another cell it shows a number it waits for one second because they don't match and it covers everything again if I select another number oh now there's a match and when there's a match nothing happens and that's how it works and you may want to add a button here to start the game all over starting with add covers which is this macro here at covers which is gonna add the covers and then we're gonna add here arrange cards and if we click the button it's gonna start all over again with a different combination of numbers so that's how we create a game to match pairs in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.